Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we are talking about stage two performance. If you're talking about stage two performance, you probably already have stage one modifications under your bike. If you don't, you're gonna to wanna to go back and watch our stage one video, which we'll link in the description below. But in stage one, we added mufflers, an intake, and a fuel injection controller, all things which you're gonna utilize for your stage two build. Now, the first thing you need to do to start your stage two build is add headers. The stock mufflers we got rid of, we have upgraded high free or flowing mufflers, but we're ne gonna need to replace that header system with a header system that's capable of handling more power. If you're a bagger guy, we're gonna use something like these Vance and Hines power duels hanging behind me here on the wall. If you're not a bagger guy, or even if you are, you can move to something like a two into one. A two into one is gonna be the best overall performing performance system to support your builds through stage one, two, three, and four actually. And the meat and potatoes of the stage two is gonna be a set of cams. And these new headers and full systems are gonna be built to handle that power where your stock header system's not going to be able to. So the next thing you're gonna wanna choose is a cam. Choosing a stage two cam can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're uh, gonna build for stage three and four because you don't wanna over cam your motor. And what I mean by that is, uh, some, of the, some of the bikes nowadays have valve springs set up to handle a higher lift cam, but really you don't have the compression in a stock motor, a stock, a stock piston motor to support a big cam. So your cam selection's uh, important. You don't need the biggest lift cam out there. You just need something that's gonna give you good uh, low end seat of the pants power and torque. It'll work well with these full exhaust systems. When you put these cams into your bike, it's perfect time to upgrade lifters and push rods. Also, when you do these cam systems in there, to avoid taking your rockers all the way apart and pulling apart more of your motor than you need to, you can use these SNS quickie push rods. You bolt cutter out your stock push rods, these quickie ones will go back in there without having to take the rocker boxes off. Uh, great little step up there from stock, save you a ton of hassle. Also, while you're in there, twin cam guys, it's the same amount of work to replace your stock oil pump and cam plate. No matter what cam you're putting in there, you gotta take the oil pump and this cam plate out. Um, these SNS units are great units. They're gonna uh, give you more oil pressure, a lot more adjustability. Great upgrade while you're in there is to replace the pump and the plate when you're doing these cams. After your stage two build, you're gonna have intake, you're gonna have exhaust, you're gonna have a cam, you're gonna have a good cam selection, and you're also gonna have that fuel injection controller. You're gonna have a pretty hot running motor. Um, when you choose your fuel injection controller, especially for stage two, you're gonna want something that has a wide, ar a wide array of maps available to you from that, from that manufacturer, or the ability to have a map written to it, or the ability to have wideband O2 sensors added and a closed loop system ran on it. That's gonna give you the flexibility to, to tune into the range um, of fuel you're gonna need for the cams, the headers, the intake to really make some power. All right, if you like what you see here, please subscribe to us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section. We'll get right back to you. You can call us on our 800 number or chat with us at jpcycles.com. Now, go work on those motorcycles.